Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I've got another one of the Master of the Universe Origins figures to show you. And it is just finishing off wave number three, um, as I sort of promised in the last video. And I've picked up She-Ra. So it was one of the rarer ones and harder ones to find. I ended up getting it from Big Bad Toys store over in America and shipped through my, my US um, delivery. Um, but really pleased to have finally um, got this one and completed wave number three. So you can see on the back of the um, box there, battling Hordak and the other figures in the range. So the last video you saw was unbox Zordak. And um, we've done Merman and Roboto before, and obviously done He-Man and Skeletor before. But now it is time to get to She-Ra. Get into the box quite nicely. Yeah, hard boxes to open these. Um, this just does come out quite easily. And again, we've got the mini comic in the um, box. See if we can snap that off and get her out quite easy. Oops, lost her. I've done really well here. I've really um, done a number on um, on she right here. There we go. The um, the cape's on its way off. Um, so not my best um, unboxing ever. I've really, really um, made a right pig's ear of this. Let's try and put a cape back on her and get her put back together properly. She really has come apart um, taking her out of the box. So there is the, um, the cape. She has got this sort of tape on the back of the cape. Get that off. And we have lost her um, her crown as well. But she has popped back together quite easily. So that is one good thing about these um these figures. So you've got this um you've got this crown that does come with um with Shira. So you've got two ways you can put it on. Firstly, you can do it so it's sort of like um a helmet and um it covers her eyes like so. Put it close to the camera, you can see that. Or it can go the other way up and just, just act as like um a crown. Which is the way I think I'm gonna display um display the figure. And um, we have got the sword and shield. I will um, attempt to get into this um, little packet, which um, is always difficult with these um, these masters figures, just to get into the um, get into the weapon. There we go. Got him out. So. You've got, first of all, this small sword, which will just hopefully fit into a, a hand quite nicely. They are always difficult to get the um, weapons into the hands of the figures without doing too much damage to the um, plastic. But that's gone in quite well. And then this shield will, should pop into the other hand, and it does do quite nicely. So there we have um, She-Ra. So she has got the um, the long blonde hair, as you would expect, with a this red um, red cape which fits around her neck. Um, she's wearing a little sort of skirt over a white sort of tabard um, with this like white silky material, and she's got this sort of like glistening belt. So a very very nice She-Ra figure. I think the only one thing left to do is take She-Ra and add her to the Master of the Universe. Origins collection. So there you can see she added into the collection. So that is wave three complete. And the last gap um, on the shelf is for Ninja. So we need to keep keep an eye out for him. But the um, the first section of the figures is now um, complete. So I'm sure you'll agree it is looking like a fantastic set of figures. As we move down the shelves, you can see they are filling out quite nicely so we are working on the um, on the sets as and when I can pick them up so I'm really pleased with how it's coming along but really pleased to get wave three all fully complete with the addition of She-Ra and Zodak recently so um, there she is in the collection She-Ra I'll leave you with this last look at her in all her glory before we go and close out this video 
So there you have it, she added into the collection the um, the final piece in um, series number three of the Master of the Universe. So another one added to the collection, um, another one that I did need to get. Uh, let me know, as I always say in the comments, what you think to the she figure. Is it a figure you'd have picked up? Or is it one you already have? Um, and what do you think of the Master of the Universe Origins collection as a whole? Obviously, I'm a little bit all in on it because I'm um, getting there with completing it. So, um, as I say, please let me know what you think to the figures. Um, otherwise, um, if you haven't already as well, please subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate every single one of you who does take the time to um, subscribe to the channel and watch my videos and take the time to drop a comment on there. Um, I really appreciate it. It does make it worthwhile um, knowing people are enjoying what you're putting on there. Um, otherwise, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.